So here's the deal. I just went outside, new day, and I'm looking around the corner, and up there on the mountain side is a creeper. So we have to take care of that first. Let's run over there. Oh, he just disappeared. Okay, let's just not even include that in the video. And Squirrel Stampede back playing Minecraft. This is episode three. We've made it to the trilogy of Minecraft gameplay. Today we've got a few things to do. We have to extend our house a little bit. We have to do some gardening and maybe we'll even find a cave to look inside. Uh, on the off time in between episode two and three, I did a little bit of resource gathering. I've gathered up some more oak wood planks, some birch wood planks. I even made some fences, uh, even some spruce wood planks here, some cobblestone, just some extra things so we don't get bored watching me go. I think I even extended the garden a little bit. I extended a footprint idea. I think the consensus is expand the house a little bit, make it look more like a squirrel, and I am totally in agreement. Uh, probably should build a fence here too. This is extremely dangerous. Why did I build my house right next to a volcano? That is smart thinking. Um, so, also had a little bit of OCD time. I extended the wall of the house by one block. Remember the head wasn't centered and I kind of like twitched a little bit. I was like, uh, eh, that, that sort of thing. Like I was like, couldn't not take having that wall thing. So I extended it. That's why I have a little more extra room in here. And I think that'll work out just fine. Uh, I think I have a few extra resources in here too. I actually found some rotten flesh, had a run in with one creeper. I almost blew off the front of my house. I only played for a couple days and to get well, a couple Minecraft days, not real days, but only played a little bit to resource gather, and here we go. So, uh, maybe we should really work on that fence first um, and this lava thing. That's probably the, the safest thing to do. Um, let's just build a fence right here so I don't have to worry about falling in. Um, oop, I'm getting a little worried here. My hands are sweating. Um, it's kind of scary stuff. Do you think the lava is going to burn this uh, wood fence? being so close. I don't know. But this should put myself at ease now. Um, we should not have to worry about this. Maybe even go around this way a little bit. <laughs> I still can't believe this lava pit right here. This is good stuff. Okay, so that's a little safer now. The odds of falling in are still pretty good. We could walk over here and, oh no, um, maybe one more piece. Anyway, let's work on the back end of our house. So this is what I'm thinking about in extension. Uh, I just put down a little dashed line of oak to see and I think this is how we're gonna go with it. I like it. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Da, 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 da. Um, we'll probably put a door somewhere. I wonder where I should put the door. It would be kind of nice just to keep walking straight in. So I think we're gonna be putting a door right about here. Of course, that's going to throw off my oven, my furnace, I mean, and my uh, crafting table a little bit, but I think that'll be okay. So here's our new extended room right on top of that cross thing. That's just great if you guys are superstitious and all that. Minecraft-stitious. So we're going to add on a nice big chunk of house. This will be great. I'll feel a little bit more at home here. And we can kind of have fun with it. Oh no, my fence! My fence is on fire! Oh, this is just great. We told you so! Uh-oh, squirrel! There we go, I thought I had enough room. I thought being up high enough we were going to be okay. We've now burned the fence down. This lava pit is going to be trouble. Trouble, trouble. I guess I could build like a cobblestone wall. That was kind of my original intent. And I thought, oh, you know, a fence would be nice. I could like see through it a little bit. It'd be neat. And sure enough, not so neat. These might be the uh, hips, by the way, of the squirrel. So I think I'm gonna leave those in. We'll see how it goes. I can't believe my fence just burned down. Oh my goodness, the excitement. We'll call this fence burning episode, I suppose. OK, 
Okay, it's getting a little dark, so we probably will have to finish the rest of this in the morning. I think we're safe. I think I don't have to really block this up, so I'm just gonna go to bed real quick and finish the house with a full day ahead. By the way, we had some funny comments. Um, where do I start? A balloon magic. Why did the squirrel cross the road to play Minecraft? I liked that. And what just made me think of the comments was Central Stickbot. Uh, it is not safe to sleep next to a window and a llama. That was pretty good. And Ender Dragon Sam said, So you are doing good on Squirrel Land. So thank you, sir. Very nice. Um, I'm trying my best. I don't know half the time, but there you go. Okay, so let's finish the back of this house. All right, now we have a nice little room going on back here. We'll have our way in. I'm still not exactly sure. Maybe I'll just put my stove there. What do you think? Because it'll be nice to always craft right up front. So I'll put my furnace back We're just right here for now. I'll put these fences away because those fences just did not work right. There we go. So now I can run back here and I have all this extra room to work with. Um, Let's go like that and add another window here. So put some windows there. I think I put them too forward. Okay, I'm liking this. This is our back room. Yeah, could use some wallpaper. And the llama has moved in. The llama likes it too. It's like finally after like being stuck in that front room for so long, I have somewhere else to go. Yeah, I should put some grass in or something for it. What an interesting life to be this llama living with me. Never thought that would happen. Anyway, so let's look. Let's close this door here. Let's look now what do we have. I like this idea of these squirrel legs in the back. Maybe make it a little longer. Um, this will help me get up to the top to the roof. I need to do the same thing on the other side. Let's just fill this in here. Oh, um, had a request from my kid to put some glass for the squirrel's eyes. Still not ex super, oh geez, jumpy, jumpy. Still, still not super excited about the squirrel head. I'll probably work on it some more, but she said, put some uh, glass there. So that's not a bad idea. I like it. Okay, so let's do one more leg on this side. So I have two blocks over here. So it's gonna be right here mainly. Let's just fall to my doom. Yeah, I think that looks right. All the way up by four and then one. I like it, okay. So now we got some legs on the side. It's kind of looking like a squirrel sphinx in some way. A very square squirrel. And then the hands up front, I'm still trying to figure out if I should kind of leave it like that. See how I have two little hands there? Or should I go like this? Look everybody, it's a six armed squirrel. I can go like that, that might look more squirrely. Okay, so we're gonna leave them like that. Kind of gives me a little protection. I can put a flower pot there or something eventually and make it look prettier. So I'm gonna bash this out. And now all we have to do is we work on the squirrel tail. So what I was thinking about doing for the squirrel tail is we are gonna use some birch wood instead. Squirrel tails are like the coolest things ever. They're like these giant S's. And getting it to look just right is going to be a lot of fun. Kind of weird. Kind of weird. I mean, we can keep going and then back up. For now, we can just make this a little bit simple and then think about it and then change it a little bit later in episode 99 or however far we ever get.
Okay, we are almost done. It's still a little wonky. I haven't really liked it yet. Getting a little bit better. Just needs to raise up a little bit. A little more poof to it. Uh, but let's go to bed one more time here. Man, daylight does not last long when you're working on a squirrel tail. And I'm glad I have as much wood as I did. I was worried I probably should move my bed to the back room. It's kind of like not very polite to have your bed just right up at front, the front of the house. Oops. Oops, I did not check for creepers. Um, whoa. Oh, okay. I just thought I saw something. Anyway, um, I think we're good. I should not just run out of my house like that, especially when I saw that creeper the other day, a couple times now, outside the house. Let's call this good on the squirrel tail right now and take a look a little bit farther, see if it any what resembles a squirrel. I think I'm gonna have to work on it a little more. Yeah, that's ugly. <laughs> it looks like a big S, but it's ugly. Oh, it's really ugly. Um, come back far there. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's horrible. Oh, we're gonna have to work on that. But that's what you get with episode three is this. And then we're going to have to increase the size of my squirrel head because it just doesn't seem to match. Although squirrel tails are pretty big, but there we go. So there's my squirrel homestead so far. It's looking pretty good. I mean, really, for just starting uh, this design, it's going to need some work, but we'll figure that out. Okay, so house is done for the day. What do we got next? We got to look at our garden. It's still not really there yet. Oh, these parts are here. I could, I could actually chop that out if I wanted to and make us bread. But let's go look at a cave. I think that's my other thing I really wanna see. And uh, I kind of spotted one the other day over here. There's a couple over here. I just kind of took like a little bit of walk, a walk about around my area, not too far. Like I walked over there and it's mostly a forest. You can see I cleared out some trees right there. That's where I got a lot of my lumber. And then I cleared out some of the stone right here, cobblestone. And I added a few torches over here. So that's kind of my extent of my travels. Um, see, this squirrel tail is going to be nice. Maybe I'll just make it oversized, whatever. Uh, so that way I could see it from a distance. But anyway, over here, I think I found a cave. So we're going to check it out. I actually found two caves, I think. This might be just a great spot. This is always good to be in extreme hills. You're going to find more stuff, uh, diamonds, emeralds. Uh, maybe even an abandoned mine shaft. Everyone's like hoping for that. I love those. I haven't found one in a long time. But here is our first cave entrance. There's one here and there's one up there to look at. I guess I'll start over here. Use your pickaxe! Use your pickaxe! Oh, what am I doing? An axe? It's like, why isn't that breaking? Um, I need some extra coal while I'm here. One of the things that it's so hard when you first start caving is I have no iron so I really don't have any armor. I never like to kill that many cows to get the armor uh, from the leather but we're just gonna hope that we can find some iron real close in one of these caves and there we go. So we're entering our first cave. That's some scary stuff. Um, so far it looks like a happy cave. I don't see anything yet. Let's kind of get some more light in here. Oh this one is flooded. So that's going to be fun to deal with. Let's see here. I'd also really like to get a bucket. Oh, there's our first creeper. Our first creeper of the game. Ugh, I don't like where this one is at all. We're going to have a lot of trouble with him. Let's see here. I need to stop up this water somehow better. Let's make like a little wooden dam first. And then we could figure this out. Okay, so let's get some more light. Oop. And that creeper, I wish I had an arrow, but I don't yet. Actually, I could probably just do this. I can get a little closer and then I can stab it. Or it can stab me, one or the other. Hey, buddy. Ooh, that stings. Go ahead, blow up, I don't care. Either way, we're happy. All right, yeah, almost fed. And maybe one more. Oh, he blew himself up. So there we go, our first creeper kill. Well, creeper suicide. 
of the game. Man, it is dark in this cave. Why is it so dark in here? Uh, oh, I gotta get rid of this. Oh my goodness, this water is everywhere. I guess it makes sense. We are kind of in a mountain zone. It's probably the snow runoff, that sort of thing. Oh, and that just kind of leads us to an upper cave I didn't notice in the mountains, so. Cool on that. Let's just kind of light this area up. I don't see any iron yet, but I do see kind of an extra way out if I need one. We can get a good view from up here too. There we go. So that's kind of where I just came in, right down there. I'm like looking over my screen like it's far. That's the other cave. My house is just around that corner. Oh, that's right. I spotted some pumpkins up there. So that is cool find of uh, some pumpkins we can use for jack-o'-lanterns and all sorts of fun, crazy things. So let's um, put that there. Let's shut that off just because it's kind of annoying. Add another light up here. So I think we're pretty good. It feels so dark in here. I don't know why. Caves don't usually look this dark, do they? Anyway. I think the water situation is under control. Let's go a little deeper. Hopefully we can find something. Oh, look at that. It's a dead end. So we've really found nothing to uh, do this time. That's kind of a bummer. Okay, well, we'll check out our other cave. Let's go this way this time. Really would love to find some iron. I really should be putting my torches on the same wall side. That helps in getting lost. I think I actually kind of like that first cave better. I could probably uh, make my own stairway down and eventually break into something. Uh, being in extreme hills, I am higher than the plane. So you, you can see my squirrel tail right there. That's so funny. We're gonna like just make that huge. Um, we'll just keep working on it. The incredible squirrel. Oh, there might be a cave entrance over here. Let's check that out real quick too. Um, See what we can find. Oh, this is just kind of like a little walkabout. Nice to kind of light up anything around the house though, that way. That way you just kind of feel safer. Whoa! Whoa. Almost fell a few few blocks on that one. But, oh, there's another cave. Okay, here's a good looking cave. Let's check this one out. Okay, let's go over here real quick. Oh, I have a good feeling about this cave, even though I just kind of hurt my hearts a little bit. Yeah, this one looks solid. Ooh, actually this one looks really bad. Looks dangerous. Uh, oh dear. Easy. Easy. Need more light in here. Need more light. Okay, so let's kind of like work our way down a little bit. don't really like to do this sort of caving going vertical like this right off the bat, especially with these controls. I miss my Xbox. This is ridiculous, but I think we're doing okay so far. Which way we're gonna go? I like kind of like this like winding thing I got going. Just a little tricky. Again, it's incredibly dark down here. Oh, I think there's a creeper down there. Yep, that's great. Here he is. Okay, there we go. Slight creeper incident there, but I think we're okay. I wish I had packed more torches. I might have a little bit of sticks to craft a few more while I'm down here. Um, but I'm definitely gonna have to resource gather a little, even a little more on the off on the off season. Uh, I'm gonna get back up there. Always plan for your escape. I'm not planning very well. All right, that's something.
Okay, look at that. We have gone nice and deep. That is cool. I love how I look up in real life. <laughs> Got some too many games of Minecraft. Can I craft some extra torches here? I can. Woohoo! Good thinking. I brought some sticks with me. So that is good. So we can go a little deeper into this thing. Hopefully, I'd really like to end this with finding some iron. That would be awesome. Okay, let's kind of clean this area up. Oh, what is that? Bat! Nearly scared me to death. Oh, another bat. I think I turned the sound off this time. Last time the grass was making too much noise. Iron! Woohoo! We found iron. This is perfect. I found a good cache of it. A couple spots. Let's just go a little deeper and uh, that way something doesn't really come out and surprise us. Oh, wow. More iron. And there we go. So kind of just stopped. That's kind of a bummer after going that deep. Uh, but we're going to get this iron and now I can build a bucket and some shears. That would be awesome. And maybe we'll come back to this cave and see if we could open it up a little bit more some other time. Now, just two pieces of iron there. Squirrel Ific, we have done it. We have, oop. <laughs> Sorry, bat. Just clocked the bat on the head. We have reached the back of the cave here. If I want to, maybe I'll just like keep digging down someday and like fall into lava. Oh, there's some coal right there. Um, but for now, I think we'll call it good. That was a good first caving experience. Really um, dizzying going up that that slope. So let's run back home real quick. If it's not too dark outside, it's got to be dark right now. So yeah, look at that, look at that. Whoa. Oh, way up there. Um, now back up to the top, which one? <laughs> Got myself all dizzy. All right. It's night. Let's just kind of chill here for a second and I'll run back home and we could finish up. Okay, I think it's daytime. Usually I would just run back at night, but I don't have any armor yet, so I just didn't want to sit there and waste time or die horribly right off the bat. So that is a fun cave. We're going to check that out again sometime when we get back to my house. And we'll go back around here. Oh look, a zombie. We have all sorts- whoa! <laughs> That's got to be hot. Whoa, jeez. That looked like it hurt. You should stay closer to water. Ah, home sweet home. Just, uh, just a couple things before we finish off. Let's uh, let's grab some, do a quick gardening. Ah, nothing really happened. Maybe because I wasn't around close enough. Um, we'll wait to garden next time, but we will throw in our iron into the oven. Let's see how much we have able to get 15 blocks of iron ore. We're going to start cooking that up immediately so we can make a bucket, some shears, hopefully maybe even a helmet or something so we're a little safer. So there we go. That is episode three. Thank you for hanging out with me. Love the comments. Love all the uh, uh, likes and all that fun. We're going to keep going this summer and plug away with some of these. There have been a lot of fun. Uh, a lot of people said make your own avatar too. So I think we're going to have to work on that right now. We're Alex but we really would like to look like a squirrel because that's a little more fun. So thank you for watching another crazy day and we're gonna have to figure out something too with this lava pit. Uh, another crazy day of Squirrel Stampede playing Minecraft. The squirrel house needs some sharp teeth. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please like, share, subscribe.